The siege of Petropavlovsk was the main literary operation in the Pacific theater of the Crimean War. The Russian casualties are estimated at 100 soldiers. The Allies lost five times as many. In the China and Japan seas, at the beginning of the war, Russian Rear Admiral Yevfemy Putyutin had under his orders Paladay, 52 guns, Aurora, 44, and Divina, 12. The British force on the station was under Rear Admiral David Price and the French under Rear Admiral Auguste Fabier de Pointe. In total, the Allied fleet had nine ships and over 200 cannons. Putyatin was, of course, helpless at sea against such a force, and therefore he sent Paladay far up the river Amma, and put her crew to work in reinforcing the weak garrisons along the river's banks. Aurora and Divina took refuge in Petropavlovsk, a post against which it was foreseen that the Allies would probably attempt operations. Price and Fabia de Pointe, after having detached Amphitrite, Artemis, and Trincomale to cruise for the protection of trade off the coast of California, went in search of the Russians, and, on the 18th of August, sighted the shores of Kamchatka. The siege. The siege started on the 18th of August 1854, when an Allied squadron of three British and French frigates, one corvette, one brig and one steamship cast anchor in the Avisha Bay. The Allied forces far outnumbered the Russians. The sole Russian heavy ship, Frigate Aurora, was anchored behind a sandspit topped by a shore battery. The 52-gun Paladay was by then on the Amma, out of harm's way. The Allied force, commanded by Rear Admirals Fabia de Puente and Price, advanced to bombard Petropavlovsk on 20 August 1854. They had some 218 cannons at their disposal, as compared to 67 cannons available to the defenders of Kamchatka's main city under Vasily Zavoyko. Almost immediately, Price went below decks and shot himself, either on purpose or by accident. The Allies withdrew, but returned to resume the bombardment the next day, the 22nd of August, with Captain Nicholson of HMS PK in temporary command. The Petropavlovsk garrison consisted of 41 officers, 476 soldiers, 349 seamen, 18 Russian volunteers and 36 Kamchadals. The Allied squadron re-entered Avisha Bay to storm the city. On 24 August, after a neutralization of Russian batteries, 970 Allied troops landed west of Petropavlovsk, but were repelled by 360 Russians. A naval brigade of around 680 British and French seamen and marines landed, under Captains Burridge and de la Grandier, but they were ambushed and, after some heavy fighting, retreated with 107 British and 101 French dead or wounded. The commanding officer of a landing party was killed. The Russians captured a British flag, seven officers' swords and a quantity of firearms, swords, and bayonets. The Allies withdrew, although President and Virago managed to capture the Russian Anadis, a small schooner, and the 10-gun transport Sitka on 28 September 1854. The Allies left Petropavlovsk to the Russians until April 1855, when Nikolai Muraviev, aware of the insufficiency of troops and weapons to repel another attack on the city, had the Petropavlovsk garrison evacuated under the cover of snow. The Allied fleet retreated to the colony of Vancouver Island where Esquimalt Harbour was used for repairs, an event which led to a strong British presence there and led to investment in a graving dock at that location which has since evolved into CFB. Esquimalt Allied Fleet British The British force on the station was under Rear Admiral David Price, and consisted of HMS President, 50-gun frigate, Captain Richard Burridge, HMS PK, 40, 5th-rate frigate, Captain Sir Frederick William Erskine Nicholson, Bart, 
HMS Trincomale, 24, Leader Class Frigate, Captain Wallace Houston. HMS Amphitrite, 24, Leader Class Frigate, Captain Charles Frederick. HMS Virago, 6, Paddle Steamer, Commander Edward Marshall. French The French Rear Admiral August Fabier de Pointe had at his disposal. Forte, 60. Eurydice, 30. Artemis, 30. Obligado, 18. In the action from the British side, President, P.K. and Virago. From the French side, Forte, Eurydice and Obligado. Total about 204 cannons. A map of the Franco-British attack on Petropavlovsk in 1854. The Russian frigate Paladay. HMS President, built to the plans of the American US President. The British flag captured in battle on 24 August 1854.